Hello, everyone, and welcome to our special webinar, Explore Cranfield University, where we get to know more and more about this fascinating university. This is Tarek, a, best, a partnership manager at Emonovo, your number one platform for to connect with educational opportunities all over the world. In this webinar, we're going to know more about Cranfield University and its uh, many programs and many schools. Today, we're going to get to know more about this university, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. With me today is Ms. Samina Masoud to tell us more about Cranfield University. Welcome, Samina. Welcome. Thank you very much, um, Tariq, for giving me this opportunity. Um, Thank you for being uh, here. Would you please let us know more about yourself and what you do at Cranfield University? Okay. I'm. Um, firstly, thank you for the opportunity. It's lovely to be uh, informing all those who will tune in into this webinar about Cranfield and what makes it distinct and different than the rest of the UK universities. I'm Samina Masood and I look after the Middle East, North Africa, Turkey and Sub-Saharan Africa region, um, student recruitment and business development across these regions. Um, um, so that's about me. Uh, let's talk about Cranfield. So sure, Cranfield yeah, that's that's what they must be eagerly waiting for. Yeah, Cranfield University. Uh, the first Tariq, the first thing when I met a student, I still remember it quite vividly. They were saying, "Oh, we didn't see Ta um, Cranfield University on um, on any of the um, ranking sites." Well, that's true, and that repeatedly happens when we are talking uh, to students, partners. Cranfield University is a wholly postgraduate university and we do not have any undergrad presence. So which then means that we don't appear on UCAS and on many link, um, you know, ranking sites. Mm -hmm. um, um, so we only appear on QS rankings, which is subject specific. Cranfield University uh, was his uh, i'll give you a bit of a background cranfield that university great. yeah cranfield university start was a started off uh, um we had royal air force base and which uh, had an airport and which was very much active in the second world war and then because of our aerospace presence and our te technical um uh, prowess in that area we established as the Cranfield College of Aeronautics. Um, and then we were given the charter of becoming a university. And the forerunners after the aerospace expertise was our school of management. We were the mm -hmm. very first business school in the UK. So if you look at the history and where we are now, there are a lot of firsts at Cranfield and very unique um you know uh, facilities uh, etc so you i can see you smile yes um, because it's always uh, it always uh, brings to my mind that this is a very 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 much unique university like exclusively both graduate for once and then the the variety of uh, options and schools and the uniqueness of school as you mentioned you started as an aerospace uh a school aerospace engineering and then you you took it from there so this is what makes Cranfield special, don't you agree? Yeah, I do. But there is more, more to uh, un unearth and uncover. So we are the only UK university which has got commercially active airport. Okay, mm -hmm. and we also fly the National Flying Laboratory Center, which is a Saab aircraft, which is based at Cranfield. Um, and this aircraft um, it does all the uh, airborne. Uh, exercises and experimentation, not just for Cranfield, but also for all those universities that teach at undergrad or at postgraduate level aerospace or aeronautical engineering course. So just imagine 
we don't appear on the listing site but we are very in in what i've just said is so dis distinct uh, and unique so going further down the line um so this is a bit of history so um today we operate our as four schools for Cranfield, so Cranfield mm -hmm. and two campuses. So one is the Cranfield campus in Bedfordshire, and the other one is the Shivenham campus in Wilshire, which also acts as Ministry of Defence supplier. And um, we work all our Cranfield defence and security courses are offered from mm -hmm. there. Um, we then have um, the on the Cranfield campus, we have three schools. We have got um, School of Aerospace, Transport and Management. We have got the School of Management. Um, and then we have got um, School of Water, Energy and Environment. Mm -hmm. So all these schools then form, we uh, go out to market is very lean. It's because we are small, very specific university when we say small we don't mean it in a small like tiny when we say small we are very proud of calling ourselves small because we are number two in the world for our staff student ratio one mm -hmm. to seven so the student staff ratio varies on our recruitment body um how much students we recruit each year but between five five and a half thousand students we recruit each other each year of which six to 800 are uh, PhDs and the remaining all are undergrads. So this again is a very unique factor, this, the attention that student gets because of the low small class size. So we don't say it in a, in a negative way when we call ourselves small, we are very proud mm -hmm. to be small because we are giving that excellent student experience to those who enroll on our courses. And this is this is what I always say to people who are considering postgraduate uh, education, because I know from experience, I know from my own personal experience that it's very important to have uh, something very specific and very uh, direct link to your, uh, whether it's a researcher, whether it's a professor, a, a, a tutor, whether it's a, uh, it's a practical uh, training, it's, it's important that you have a certain uh, space to to cover with your with the one you're dealing with, and this is what makes Crafted uh, wonderful. Again, like as you said, you have one to two to seven a ratio from staff yeah. students. This yeah. is great. This is yeah. actually really great. Yeah. So, but then again, we again there is another uniqueness and differentiator uh, here <laughs> is that we have four schools but that schools is for internal you know uh, for us to know mm -hmm. and of course where the students are going to graduate but our go to market for students we have made it very you know partners students very short very lean approach to us what we have done is all our um, expertise or uh, work we do with the subject areas uh, research areas we have put them under eight distinct themes mm -hmm. subject areas so we uh, operate as four schools as i just mentioned and mm -hmm. our we have then bundled all our expertise our research and teaching under eight themes subject mm -hmm. specialisms okay so these are aerospace energy and power defense and security environment and agri-food manufacturing transport system water and of course management comes under the cranfield school of management so these sure. are our eight themes so students who would like to come and talk to us with a sub specific subject area they they their approach or their direct connectivity to us is as simple as study at water or study at aerospace this will mm -hmm. come straight into uh, Cran Cranfield admissions and if they would like to they can also find out the relevant manager of uh, each region so for example if they go to the Egypt page or Jordan page or Saudi page any of the Middle East pages on Cranfield University website they will find my details and they mm -hmm. can reach out to me directly so 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 this is a little bit about our setting the scene who we are, 
what makes us different and a bit about our structure so um, well everything i heard sounds uh, amazing i know from uh, from the history to the, the uh, schools to the programs always uh, of course keeping in mind the needs of the market the needs of the student itself uh, whether it's uh, a research or uh, uh, something yeah. more uh, practical so can we talk about uh, uh, research as a postgraduate school can we have a little bit, uh, a bit more idea about research at Cranfield? Yeah, yeah I, will, I will definitely inform you of that, but just one step back. So when okay. we said about the schools, we spoke about the, ex, you know, our themes, etc. It's very important when I said we have got an airport, we have got, our, you know, the National Flying Laboratory mm -hmm. Center. It's, we also need makes us very distinguished and world leading because of our research facilities because you just asked sure. about research so we don't do blue sky research we do very applied teaching as well as research we have excellent links with the industry which where industry would give us real world challenges which we would then research with uh, on campus some of these pro, uh, research ideas, these challenges are given as group projects to students on our MSc programs. We also, uh, and they will be in a group of six to eight, investigate those real life challenges and deliver solutions to it under the supervision of their academic as well as the industry uh, partner. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we also work with industry who would give us research studentships for PhD students who would be given. These are the students, majority of the time are for the UK, EU students at the mm -hmm. moment. But there is a percentage of, uh, of international students who can apply to some of these studentships. Um, in terms of our research, like I said, our industrial scale um research facilities play a huge role and as i said we are a campus-based university we were um, a royal air force base so we have got large size buildings the aerodromes where we have got the kit which is literally what industry would use and some mm -hmm. of our partners would come and use our research facilities to do their own research or challenges. Some of the, I would say, if you look at Formula One, uh, in our Cranfield Impact Center, uh, we are one of the three FIA approved test centers where Formula One cars can come and be tested. We also have offshore, uh, off, uh, off road dynamics where you know the the relationship with a within a car chassis to mm -hmm. the environment which could be sand whatever so we work quite closely with jaguar land rover land rover and a few others um so these are a couple of things if you'll go and to the oil and gas side of things uh, we have got multi-phase flow labs which are again used um by industry like bp shell i can't tell you who is using it now, but who would come in and use our facility. Um, and yes, this is exactly. cross, cross pollination between industry, our research students, as well as our MSc students, because both the PhD and MSc students are using this, the same labs. And when I say applied, if I look at MSc, which is, you know, very important, mm -hmm. We're not taking them into a little lab where, you know, a standard would be, there'd be big tables and we're talking about real kit. Mm -hmm. And I still remember talking to one of the students a um, couple of years ago when I, he, he gave me a very good expression. He said, when you come and study at Cranfield, you are work ready or industry ready and you just plug and play like a computer. And I said, this is a very new expression. I've never heard this before. <laughs> so my group design pro group project has helped me because it simulates the real world of work. So I know we. I had six different nationalities in my team, different work 
ideas, mm -hmm. experience was brought into it. And I had to then present it in front of the industry, what our findings were. So he said, this is exactly when tomorrow I go into my office, I exactly know what to do. And then this is also complemented with all the training, which is personal development, etc. what we provide, CV writing, presentation, and our careers is, our team is, I would say a wow, because they bring in that side of developing them, not just in the classroom where they're doing their exams and submitting their um, um, assignments, but they're developing them for their future careers as well at the same time. That's, that's very nice, actually, because uh, knowing that a student won't only get uh, the, the academic and the practical knowledge, but also that Cranfield University focuses on personal skills and uh, career-wise skills, that's very, very, very much important to, mm -hmm. to anyone who's considering uh, a postgraduate education. So let, let's talk a little bit about uh, career. Let's talk about your uh, alumni network. You, you mentioned that uh, you have strong ties with industry. You mentioned how your uh, your facilities facilitate uh, actually uh, enrolling students in in the practical world. Uh, can you give us some information about your alumni network? Yeah, um, um, I can give you. We have got uh, alumni seventy thousand plus alumni globally at the moment. Okay. Wow okay and and then of course it's we'll be having another graduation soon so the numbers would increase mm -hmm. with with the COVID things sort of stalled but we are very looking forward to us um you know after a break a face-to-face -face, um uh, graduation ceremony um what we are saying is that if you look at um the footprint cranfield has across the middle east it's pretty strong alumni network. Mm -hmm. If you look at airlines, if you look at uh, people working from airports or working in different capacity in water, water or energy um, um, institutes or research bodies, you look at um, Cranfield alumni as academics. And then we have got some very big high flyers who are in the room, you know, our CEOs at a, a, a working for airlines or our vice presidents at universities or research councils or are um, working as, uh, how would I say it, um, entrepreneurs and bringing sure. new ideas and things like that. So these alumni are dotted across um, globe, globally. And anybody who would like to know more, because I don't want to take time of listing who's doing what, but they're very senior alumni across all walks of life, ministers and representatives of you know, institutions or organizations. But what, so in addition to this, we have got you know, about 30 plus alumni chapters glo globally. And, you know, um, these alumni also take time to then come back and speak to our students from time to time if there is a need. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a very strong um, student ambassador network, I should not forget that, which brings in a day-to-day -day inquiries if anybody has. If, for example, Tariq just suddenly decides to apply and has a question, he will always find somebody online to respond to that query. Oh, and trust nice. me that trust me that is such a good to have that student ambassador instantly replies with a response and i also have a you know if they think okay no i would like to speak to samina rather than a student mm -hmm. then that opportunity is also there so what we like i've said before we're trying to give them excellent student experience excellent career support so we then at the end, at the tail end, when they become alumni, it does not end. They become our lifelong alumni. They can still, if they decide to change their career, if they would like to come back and do a PhD with us, the, we are there to support. So the career support is lifelong, unless uh, unlike most universities who then the relationship just ends. Our career support is there. You asked me about what the alumni's, uh, alumni do. 
alumni, I can, like I said, any specific questions, they can always reach out to me. Mm -hmm. um, but we're very proud of our alumni because um, whether they stay here in the UK to work or they go back to their home country, because some of them would have come with a scholarship, which is tied back to the, them mm -hmm. working in their sure. home country. Um, we have got, you know, we, we celebrate our alumni the success of our alumni network. Well, I, I think this makes Cranfield distinguished and uh, great. You created the perfect environment for your students uh, to, to thrive, either through uh, your academic uh, staff, either through your personalized student experience or uh, your ties with industry, your, your, uh, your services, and finally, these uh, students become graduates and then they give back to other students with yeah. help them this makes a perfect circle it's always uh, nice to see that the university did a great job that its alumni uh, wants to give back to new students yeah. at the university this got me thinking about admission actually so can you t talk to me a little bit about the admission process you have uh, in Cranfield any I know it's it's different from program to program, from school to school, but yeah. just to get a general idea. Yeah, sure. Um, the um, what we say because majority, like I said, we're very particular about class size, our student mm -hmm. experience, and of course, uh, we want to any inquirer or applicant to get the best experience. So what we do is there is. Um, there is no there's a role on admissions like you know who first come first sure. offer um and and the most mostly we try we also look at our regional timelines as well like you know this year you know when is ramadan when is hajj and oh, what so. time of national holidays across the region are mm -hmm. um we say if you are interested and you found all the information that you need apply straight away rather than delaying it because in some some universities with some experience of undergrad they say oh it's the set timeline let's do it okay mm -hmm. um but i always say because like i said we are a campus university so accommodation is available and what best to what excellent opportunity that you're living on campus and you just have to walk to your classroom rather than taking transport if you're um you you are not on the what you call it uh off site campus. yeah off campus so now what is happening is that we would like them to apply as early as possible and all the courses you can apply online so mm -hmm. the course they would like to they can apply online and the application comes in and then we review and they will set up an account for them which is uh, the student account and they will upload their transcripts their all the re references etc what are required they will also need to provide um to pay a deposit fees which mm -hmm. um at the moment is 1000 pounds and for phds is 500 uh, they have will be given a deadline by which to um to pay that deposit and like i said this is in 2022 february so uh, yeah. fees and deposit everything changes <sighs> of yeah? course so so the deposit is one condition they have to provide two references and also mm -hmm. they will need to um take an english test again english requirements are are variant across different courses so i would recommend that whoever is interested and uh, firstly it's our, our our website is very very well uh, like um, organized details. so when yes. yeah the details are there what their entry requirements are what what they have to do everything is there online so mm -hmm. it's a very um, slick process let's put it this way and then once the application is pr uh, submitted uh, all the info um, the admissions team would get back to them um with their response or whatever the further requirements are mm -hmm. that's that's great to know that uh, that uh even people who are students who are considering applying to uh Cranfield university will get special treatment by someone helping there, them there's no the second option they are very important <laughs> to us and our admissions team as well as if they would like to directly contact me then mm -hmm. you know by all means they can contact me and mm -hmm. but like i said it's 
uh, the application process is online and and you know whatever requirements etc so they keep them on keep on top of it so mm -hmm. they will definitely have very good experience when they apply that's that's very nice to know i know my uh, i myself i'm intrigued to to apply to cranfield when the time comes uh, You're most welcome to do that <laughs> well I, I thank you very much for this uh would you like to add anything to our uh, viewers um all i would i would say is cranfield experience is very unique mm -hmm. and and um it's a top brand and and if you see in the higher education sec sector in the uk um and also we i would like to add something beyond the classroom which is also important you're here for one year course mm -hmm. you make friends for life but what we also look after is outside of the classroom we would cater to your specific needs if you would like to have halal food so mm -hmm. the outlets in on the campus offer halal food we do also have a mosque on campus, a fully operational mosque, which again is very different and distinguished from other universities uh, because it is not like for just Friday prayers or mm -hmm. a, a classroom which is empty, which is made makeshift arrangement. This is permanent with a big library. Um, and also we uh, have 110 plus nationalities on campus. So wow. we, we celebrate you know the diversity, diversity in our student population and majority of the time you will see uh, all why i said about mosque and halal food because from middle east this is one of the priority if you of see course, it like it's me. always a concern and, yeah so we are there it's a very very safe uh, environment some fam some students bring their families with them mm -hmm. we have got on on campus preschool a, a younger children um, can go into the nursery the older children are picked up by nearby schools um, and then you know there's a transport available which prayer parents can opt for so it's a very very safe and secure environment because it's all based on campus rather than being in a big city where you know they have to commute and transport sure. and so yeah so that's what we cater for and of course we have got you know we look after their health so we've got gym we have got wednesday afternoon sports etc so that all is there um so like i said uh, we have got student societies and clubs because we encourage that um sort of uh interaction and i think as i would say Team building just does not restrain or restrict into the classroom. It goes beyond. Exactly. So you develop your network when you work in those societies, not necessarily in your own classroom, but beyond. I hope that answers your question. That answers all of my question. And as I said, Cranfield University turned out to be more exciting than I thought. And the experience itself is uh, worth every uh, every bit of it. So uh, thank you very much, Samina, for being here today with us. And I just want to say to all our fo uh, followers, uh, please, if you have any question or any uh, inquiry about Cranfield University, just leave a comment be below in the below the video or just go to our website, go to Cranfield University website. Just uh, you will find someone to answer your questions. We will be in contact with you directly. Uh, again, thank you very much, Samina, for being here. Uh, with us today tell, telling us about all this great information about Cranfield University. It was very nice having you. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity and we look forward to as many uh, students from through your platform um, and um, it will be a great experience when they join Cranfield. Thank we you very sure much. We sure hope to. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very okay. much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.